Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to this tank update. So one thing you might notice straight away is that the video looks a bit different than normal and that's due to the fact that my Galaxy S9 got a system upgrade to Android 9 which is great except that they removed the option to film in pro mode which means that I cannot adjust the color temperature i.e. you will see everything a little bit more blue than it actually is because the camera lens translates the colors a little different than my eyes at least so forgive me that but that's what you'll have to do with for now so maybe they'll update the video mode in the future and then I can uh, slightly adjust the color temperature again so it might look a little less blue so let's start off with some good news, um, at least for me, that is. Um, the new plans are coming together for the new tank. So uh, this week we ha I had contact with the guy who was, uh, whose tank I'm getting in June and uh, everything is, uh, is a go. So uh, we need to set up everything for the end of June and the new tank will be in the new house. So I'll keep you updated on that, but everything is going through. So that's good news for me and for my fish, of course, who will have uh, double the swimming space they have now. More than double, actually, since it's about 1,200 liters. And now just a little over 500 when you include the sump area. So let's just do a quick tank update. Um, one thing I want to tell you straight away is that the... Oh, God, these colors look pretty off, but, well, yeah, not much I can do about it right now. Um, one thing I want to mention is that it has been quite a warm week here in the Netherlands, and that means that some cyanoalgae are reappearing in the tank, which is usually happening when the color, or when the temperature, not color temperature this time, but when the temperature is rising, and the uh, chiller is doing its work and keeping the tank a little cooler then this typically happens so yeah not very much i can do about it maybe add some new bacteria but all in all it's uh, acceptable so for now during the summer period you might encounter some more cyanoalgae in my uh, tank So I really need to get used to this bluish hue that's over this video. I actually hope that YouTube might have some option to reduce the blue glare a little bit. Since it makes it look kind of alien-like. So here everything is uh, going pretty well. The uh, the leather toadstool is still uh, is doing a little better, like I showed you last week. Fish are all healthy, as you can see. And actually the Montipora eating uh, nudie branch, which are in my tank, are uh, slowing down. So I guess that the, uh, that the rest is doing its job pretty well. And it's uh, it's halting the uh, the nudie branch from uh, spreading any further. This one is a good one where you can see that there are still a few left, but not nearly as much as there were before. So this way you can see a little better. You can see just a few left, but they're being cleaned up pretty nicely by the uh, Rest. So the other corals are doing pretty well. As you can see. Some nice cilantus over here.
and some more over here. Ah, there it goes again. So I do hope that I'll get the uh, video color under control for next time, since this is pretty bad. Oh, one last update. The sand sifting goby is creating a real layer for itself over here. As you can see, it's creating holes underneath the rocks here and here. And it's cleaning up everything nicely, at least at this side of the tank. So perhaps it will move to the other side as well in due time. So yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you today. Not too much, um, but everything's still going okay. New tank coming along fine. Uh, now just patiently waiting for everything to go through with the new house and then uh, hopefully I can share some little more details about that soon and uh, show you where the new tank will be and uh, what it will look like so for now that's it I want to wish you a nice weekend and uh, I'll see you in the next update bye bye